making YouTube video, we delve into the realm of quantum computing and explore the potential of a new type of qubit that operates at room temperature. Join us as we uncover the significance of achieving quantum coherence in these qubits, a state where the peculiar laws of quantum mechanics can be harnessed and observed. Traditionally, qubits required extremely low temperatures nearing absolute zero to maintain stability and prevent decoherence. However, scientists have now developed a qubit that defies this limitation, achieving quantum coherence at room temperature. This remarkable feat marks a significant milestone in quantum computing research, as it opens up new possibilities for practical applications and advancements in the field. Discover the implications of this breakthrough and how it could potentially usher in the next phase of quantum computing. Gain insights from experts who describe this achievement as an important milestone in the quest for quantum supremacy. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of room temperature qubits and explore the exciting future they hold for quantum computing. Before we dive into today's topic, I just wanted to kindly ask for your support. If you enjoy my content, I would really appreciate it if you could give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and share my videos, it means the world to me. Alright, now let's get into the juicy stuff. In order to overcome this challenge, scientists have utilized a pentacene-based chromophore, which is a dye molecule capable of absorbing light and emitting color. This chromophore has been embedded into a new metal organic framework. The unique properties of this setup allow scientists to observe quantum coherence for a brief period of time at room temperature. Unlike classical computers that encode data in bits represented as either 1 or 0, quantum computers employ qubits. Qubits can exist in a superposition of both 1 and 0 simultaneously until they are physically observed. This means that a qubit can be in multiple states at once. Typically, physical qubits create a superposition by utilizing the spin-up and spin-down positions of an electron, which represent the binary states of 1 and 0. These qubits are often constructed as a line of metal or a small loop that mimics the behavior of an atom. For instance, Google employs aluminium in its qubits, while IBM uses a combination of aluminium and niobium. Furthermore, multiple qubits can be entangled through quantum entanglement, which occurs when the states of two or more particles become linked. This entanglement allows the qubits to exist in numerous states simultaneously. If quantum computers are constructed with a sufficient number of qubits, this property is what makes them potentially far more powerful than classical computers. Okay, but how this exactly work, and what is the exact mechanism behind this process? I will try to keep it simple. Electrons within chromophores can undergo singlet fission, a process where they absorb light and alter their spin states. Previously, scientists utilized singlet fission to create superposition in qubits, but they were only successful at temperatures below minus 324 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 198 degrees Celsius, as stated in the research paper. In their recent study, the researchers employed a chromophore based on pentacene hydrocarbon, which consists of interconnected pentagonal rings of carbon and hydrogen. To achieve the same quantum state at higher temperatures, they can find the chromophore molecules within a unique crystalline material called metal organic framework. This material is composed of metal ions and bound by organic molecules. The metal organic framework effectively restricted the movement of the dye molecules, thereby aiding in maintaining the entangled state of any excited electrons. The scientists then excited the electrons in the chromophore through singlet fission by subjecting them to microwave pulses. Within the crystalline structure, nanopores, which are tiny holes, allowed the electrons to rotate at precise angles. This slight rotation facilitated the transition of excited electrons from two pairs of electrons in excited triplet states, where electrons from different molecular orbits possess parallel spins to one set of four electrons in the less stable. Quintet state, where the electron spins are antiparallel, meaning they move in opposite directions while still being parallel. In this quintet state, the principles of quantum mechanics govern. Following this process, the researchers observed quantum coherence in these four electrons within the quintet state for more than 100 nanoseconds at room temperature. It's important to note that one nanosecond is equivalent to a billionth of a second. A chemistry professor stated that they have achieved the first room temperature quantum coherence of entangled quintet state electrons. The team plans to continue their work by introducing other molecules to enhance the stability of qubits or by experimenting with the structure of the metal organic framework. 
While this breakthrough may not immediately lead to room temperature quantum computing, it contributes to the ongoing efforts in developing stable qubits that can achieve quantum coherence at room temperature. This has been a long-standing goal in the field. Room temperature computing would eliminate the need for error correction, since the qubits would be designed to withstand disruptive forces that cause instability and decoherence. Although the reported long spin coherence times are a significant advancement, there are concerns about scaling up and controlling the interactions between qubits. The ability to control these interactions is crucial for building a powerful quantum computer that can perform complex calculations. Despite some skepticism about the practicality of this specific discovery, it is still considered an important milestone. The overall body of research in this area holds more promise in the long run compared to focusing solely on quantum error correction methods. I wrap up my discussion for now, but don't worry, there's more exciting content coming your way. Join me in my next video as I delve into new topics and explore fascinating subjects. Until then, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one, goodbye for now. We delve into the depths of extensive research and invest a significant amount of time to bring you valuable information. Our relentless dedication and hard work are aimed at delivering a high-quality outcome. We kindly request your support in our journey by liking, subscribing, and sharing our content. Your encouragement fuels our motivation to continue producing informative videos. Join us in our pursuit of knowledge and help us make a difference. Thank you for your support.